Hi, BookTube. Uh, it's Sunday evening, and I thought I'd come to you with a bit of a, a mail haul. Um, they're sort of few and far between at the moment, and they're going to be for a while. Uh, but this was something that I had ordered a while ago, and it finally came yesterday, uh, on Saturday. And, uh, yeah, for here, it's uh, it sounds like everybody... Uh, in sort of North America and Canada uh, and the U.S. is having sort of balmy weather, spring balmy weather uh, up in the uh, 20s or more, or at least in Canada, early uh, low 20s uh, Celsius. Here in the U.K., like at the moment, I think it's hovering around zero, and it's been uh, freezing, a uh, minus fr uh, zero temperatures at night uh, Celsius, and only going up into, you know, single digits during the day for the last many days so and there's been snow uh in northern england so uh but yeah get to the books here it's again um related to film uh i had picked up the it's the uh, uk version of the criterion collection i picked up this the uninvited by uh well it was uh directed by lewis allen and it's got Ray Milland and Ruth Hussey and their brother and sister that uh, buy a house uh, very cheaply and they wonder why it's so cheap but uh, on Cornwall coast and it's haunted so and I'd sort of forgotten about this and I the the the, the cover uh, the, the picture when I saw this when I ordered like months ago uh, didn't do anything. And then I sort of read about it, and I go, "Oh, I vaguely remember that." So, and being ghost uh, related and a classic film, I wanted it. And then I found out that yeah, it's based on a novel. Uh, the American um, title of it, they called it "The Invite Uninvited," I think, uh, for the novel um, by Dorothy McArdle. Uh, and so I ordered uh, the book for it, or looked for it. And um, this is a nice, it's a new publisher called Tramp Press. They specialize in Irish uh, fiction, or at least Irish writers. And uh, Dorothy McArdle is Irish. Um, she was born in the like, 1889 and lived to the late 1950s, I think it is. Um, she didn't write too many things. She wrote three novels. And a collection of short stories. And I think they're all sort of supernatural ghost based. And um, and so yeah. And this, this is just very nicely made. Uh, it's got French flaps. Um, it's a nicely made book. It's a little bigger than the uh, normal sort of uh, uh, paperbacks now. But it's, it's still quite nice. Uh, I just love the quote on the back they have here. Uh, it was there beside the bed, a tall, shining cloud that was almost a woman. It moved. It had eyes. And I ran. <laughs> I just love that. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, but, but, and then I sort of realized, too, that I had already, I already have a book. I have her small collection um, called Earthbound and Other Supernatural Tales. Uh, it's very short. It's like 140 pages long or less than that. Uh, that was published in uh, 1951, I think 1951, uh, and this is a reprint, uh, Swan River Press, uh, edition 2016. Uh, I, I purchased this uh, last year, uh, basically, I think for my Halloween stuff, I never got around to reading any of them. But they look they looked really good and they still look good, um, but yeah. So when I was looking for this, I found this. Uh, it's, it was kind of well, it you know ten I think twelve pounds, ten pounds I think something like wow the regular I think was twelve, but ten pounds or something like that on on book depository and or Amazon. <clears throat> but I always look around and I looked on eBay and I found that uh, and I well I I first realized that the Tramp Press had already uh, published as well her other two novels. So they've done all three of them. And as part of their, it's called Recovered Voices series, 
and the uninvited is number two. So there's the other two, and I found on on eBay a seller that was that said new. Uh, they're a little rough. This one's in really good shape, but the others are. Uh, it's got some shelf wear, I guess you would say, around the edges. Uh, all three of them for basically, I think it was a few pennies more uh, than the cost of this one through uh, Amazon or and or uh, uh, deposit book depositor. I can't remember which one. One was cheaper than the other. So, yeah, so I I ordered them. Uh, it took a while to get here, but, uh, and I got the Unforeseen. Uh, this was written in 19... Forty-five, and this is number uh, 2017 by the Tramp Press, and it's number four of the uh, Recovered Voices series that they've done. And then uh, Dark Enchantment, which is number six of their Recovered Voices. But this one was, it's a bit earlier, I think. Uh, no, it's 1953. Um, so, yeah, that was her last sort of novel. She wrote, uh, she was, um, she was, uh, Republican Irish, uh, and she's written, uh, apparently it looks like a lot of history on the, uh, um, uh, history of the Republic, and she was arrested as well. She did journalism and, and everything, so, but not, not too much in the way of fiction. I think, as far as I can tell, uh, this is the three volumes, um, um, that she's written. Uh, and I'm sure this, I was just looking at this, uh, I'm sure this would drive Steve Donahue uh, uh, mad because not only does it say, you know, Recovered Voices number two on the on the cover at the front, but at the tops of the spines, there are numbers as well. And they don't correspond with the number of the Recovered Voices. I can only assume they're the number of the books that the publisher is, is done because it's a brand new publisher uh, 2014 so uh but yeah um that's my sort of small mail haul and uh i was expecting to do a different video for you today or at least have out uh would have been the treasure of sierra madre book to film uh but i still need to uh to uh, finish up the extras on the uh, on the Blu-ray before I do that, um, and yeah, so I have just been reading. Um, I'm reading a. Um, I should be done in the next day or two. It's a, a 1929 German uh, novel set in Berlin. A little strange. Um, I'll talk about that probably on Friday in my Friday reads. Uh, but yeah, and then. Uh, I still got to do a video on the second quarter of Brideshead Re Revisited. I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. Uh, and I think that, yeah, and then well, I still got a few other things to do, but um, the uninvited here is going to have to wait for a while, probably another couple weeks before I get around to that, because once I finish the German uh, novel, uh, Berlin Alexander Platz. Alexander Platz. Um, I'm then going to move on to uh, a 19th, I think it's a 37 uh, British novel. That's, well, it's quite hefty, so it's going to take me a while. It's about 700 plus pages. Uh, it's set um, over a year period, I think, uh, in um, like just before the first, uh, the Second World War, and uh, but all in London. And it's just uh, London. It's called London Belongs to Me. And I look forward to that one. But anyway, I hope you've had a good weekend, everybody. And if you're in the UK, keep uh, warm. And it's a strange thing for me now. I'm starting to feel the cold. I never had before. Uh, and I, I'm i blaming this on the COVID uh, uh, after effect because I never felt chilled uh, before here in the UK. I've never found it cold. But uh, that may have changed now. Anyway, I will see you next time, BookTube. Take care.